This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. You take the blue pill. The story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill. You stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Andy Ruiz says, there needs to be a new Andy. That's why I changed training. Oh, shit. Three months again. after confessing to his sins, Andy Ruiz has finally come to grips with the damage that he caused. The former unified heavyweight titleist and insists to have a firm plan for 2020 campaign, though a future that couldn't come without re reliving his past. Ruiz came the first ever Mexican boxer to claim a piece of the heavyweight crown following a seventh round KO of England's Anthony Joshua last June, only to return the belt to the wildly popular Brit in the 12-round points loss last December. The rematch saw the California-based boxers show up grossly out of shape, apologizing after the fact to those he let down. Included among the lot was his head trainer Manny Robles. He trained himself. He since split. The veteran cornerman carried Ruiz's water throughout the build-up to the rematch, but no longer held back once the unlikelihood of a reunion was crystal clear. I know Manny Robles was talking. He wasn't on the one. Said, I didn't do this, I didn't do that in the gym. I admitted it, you know. And in the fight as well, com um, confessed Ruiz. 33-2, and two, 22 KOs. Now there needs to be a new Andy. There needs to be a new change. That's why I changed trainers. I just want to stay focused. I made history. And, I'm, and I want to make history again. <laughs> Robles' comments did hurt a little bit. He said, to tell the truth. And I admit it. I did that. I admitted it. To the camera crew and everything. I'm not the first fighter to change trainers, you know. I think this is going to be a good change for me. As long as I stay focused, it's all good. The hunt for a new head trainer has begun for Ruiz, who has hinted at the possibility of working with Teddy Atlas. So far, the interaction has remained limited to an initial conversation, gauging interest. Ruiz is expected to make a choice sometime in the first two weeks of March, while coming to grips with the way things were. It was our decision. It was a team decision to split, insists Ruiz. It didn't really, I didn't really want this to happen, but it just happened. Nothing else to say. Just train hard. I didn't blame him. He said I didn't listen. I didn't train hard, and that's exactly what I told everybody else. I know that when I come back, I'm going to train hard. I haven't made a decision on a new trainer, but I will make that decision very soon. What's up, Fight Fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. <laughs> You know what it is. All right, man, so I'm going to just go straight in on this clown, man, dog. Like, for real, bruh. Don't be the Mexican Deontay Wilder, bruh. With a little bit with more skill. With a lot more skill, actually. Don't be the Mexican Deontay Wilder. No, this sir. is what I'm saying, bruh. Take some accountability for what you've done, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Sitting up there saying you owned up to it in the press conference during the fight, but you made a million excuses about being fat and saying if you had a third time mad that you would do better the mm, next time. Well, you had 12 right. rounds to change your fate, fatty, and you didn't even do it then. And the problem is I really liked you, but when you got the money, you started feeling yourself. You started talking all crazy, man. You let the PBC start corrupting your brain, man, and... Like, you know what I'm saying? They just started infecting your brain like a bunch of damn nanomites. And all of a sudden, you just start speaking. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy, Bruce Hamon. What you say, Bruce? Alahamic. You know what I mean? You, you just start speaking Alahamic, bro. You just completely forgot what got you there. You know what I'm saying? Staying grounded. Like, Manny Robles is the same dude that lets you, used to let you sleep in his house, man. He brought you back from, you know what I mean, the brink of destruction. Because let's be serious here, man. We all know that you was ready to commit suicide, you know what I mean, when you was at the end of your road over there at top rank. You know what I mean? Like, your only fight with PBC was Alexander Dimitrico. That was, you know what I'm saying, that was your trial run. And then, boom, you got the um, Anthony Joshua opportunity. Boom. You know what I mean? Because Eddie Hearn wanted to give you, you know what I'm saying, gave you a chance. 
It's in the game. But then you get a little taste of success. You squander it away. And then you got the audacity to say, the audacity to say, you don't even like what Manny Robles was saying in the media, talking about it hurt your feelings. You want to know why it hurt your feelings? Huh? Because the truth hurts. Boom. And you know what he was saying was 100% the truth. Like and not one time did I hear in this, um, in this article, did you refute anything that he was saying? No. Or, if you, or did you even try to dispute anything that he was saying? Denied. You want to know why? Because he spoke very truthfully about all of the things that you were doing. Now, my whole thing is this. I do like Teddy Atlas as a trainer. I like Teddy Atlas, you know, on the, the, the mental aspects of the fighting game a lot as far as his coaching is concerned. Because he's not one of those guys that's going to hold back. He's always going to tell you the truth. You know what I mean? He's an inspirational, metaphorical speaker, but at the same time, bruh, he's going to hold your feet to the fire. So if you think going getting with Teddy Atlas, you know what I'm saying, like, you're going to have an easy time, you're going to be able to slack off. Nah, dude, he'll probably leave you before you get a chance to leave him. And what does he say about somebody that you got it out the mud with, and then you go, you know what I'm saying, say you decided as a team to let him go. If you decided as a team to let him go, man, I the man got you did. all your successes, dude. The least you could have do did was pick up the phone and says you wanted to go in a different direction but, but not duck him like a little bitch you know what I'm saying for and I'm not calling you a bitch you know what I'm saying so no disrespect okay. but not duck him you know what I mean and, and just completely ghost that man not speak to that man and then just have his have your pops call him one day and pull up on him because your cop your pops got the cojones that you supposed to have you know what I mean like it, it's just crazy to me man that's why I said in the one video I did when I went on like a 35 minute rant about the reasons why Anthony Joshua was going to win prior to him, uh, their second fight was, I truly don't believe the ambitions spit it out that the um, father has are the same as the ambition as the son. The hunger, the integrity, etc., etc. It seems like you lost all of that once you cashed out, man. So you're going to have to prove the world wrong. You definitely gonna have to prove me wrong. And you gonna have to prove the rest of the world wrong. But the sad thing is, bruh, you're on a fast track of humiliation because of all of the moves you're making, the decisions you're making. You know what I'm saying? You clearly duck Billy and White. You know what I mean? I'm sure that wasn't in the PBC's plans for you or whatever. So they could just recycle and regurgitate you and just shift you around from showcase to showcase and then probably try to send you on a round robin with Cal Naki, Hellenius, Chris Ariola, and Luis Ortiz. <clears throat> but look man The truth fucking hurts man And you gotta swallow it and bear it man Just like all of that delicious food You like putting in your gut at the fish grill bruh With your, with your meal prep chef Man, look, man, Andy, man, it's just it's just time for you to be accountable for your actions, bro. It's time for you to put on and it's time for you to show up. But my whole thing is this, bro. I'm a firm believer in if you're not motivated, if you're not willing to work, it don't matter if you go grab the flashiest trainers in the world because Manny Robles is one of the best trainers in the world. And he was the perfect trainer for you. And y'all had chemistry. And y'all had the perfect relationship. It's hard to find that. It's hard to find that in the gym. And it's hard to find that success with one particular trainer in the gym and have all of those things in common, man. I just think that you're getting too far out of bounds. And the sad thing about it is, dude, you got all the talent in the world to be one of the greats of this era right now. But you're fucking blowing it. So look, bro, if you want all of the bullshit to stop, if you want people to stop chastising, if you want to stop being humiliated in the public, man, if you want to stop people from, you know what I'm saying, putting a little Pixar, you know what I mean, uh, up pictures up there, it's like, that's probably not ever going to happen. Um, you want to stop being known as the Snickers kid, man, and want to start being known as what you are as a really good fucking fighter, man, then you need to start acting like a fucking fighter. Start living your life like a fucking fighter and take your craft serious like a fucking fighter. Well, that's all I got for you guys today, man. As we always say at the end of this shit, it costs you nothing to pay a nigga no mind. Once again, it's the motherfucking boss. As always, respect though. My feelings are dead. <laughs> I feel no remorse. Yo, it's a terrible thing. <laughs>